up? I'm Hugs. That's Sam. Welcome to Hugs and Zeb. Today we're getting into Attack on Titan Season 3, Episode 21. I don't even know. It's 9 plus 10. I just know it's 59. It's 59 overall, I know what that is. Yeah. And apparently it is the Season 3 finale, and I didn't yeah. know that. I thought we had a few more weeks left. I thought it was going to go to 25 episodes. Apparently yeah. it did not. Yeah. I didn't know. I had no clue. Yeah. Not many <clears throat> people in, in Discord would be like, oh my god. I think people were saying that. end. I'm pretty sure people were saying that. That's how I knew. I didn't see it. I didn't see anybody mention it. What I did see is a lot of haters in the comments. Yeah. Um, the episode before Potatoes this. gonna hate. Um, Potatoes gonna poke. Just, just shout out. I mean, thank you for the engagement. I do either whether you dislike or comment bad comments. It's still engagement. So shout out for helping the video. Yeah. But just FYI, if you have trash to talk, and it's just funny because a lot of the stuff that people said in that video were things that we actually talked about in the video. Yeah. Normally, I don't comment on it in these if we get hate or whatever because it's like I said, it's engagement. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But it's just the fact that so many repetitive comments were made. You tell us stuff that we literally say in the About video. things that we didn't know that, like, I literally specifically said those statements in the yeah. video. Um, and that it's just and too many of them say, to talk about. If you say they just don't care anymore, yeah. this is literally like our favorite one of show. my, yeah, one of my our favorite, favorite shows. And it's just funny that people think that. It's the one that we discussed the most. The, the other thing, too, is, like, we're watching in sub. It's a lot of information that was in this episode. We're talking about two episodes now ago, mm -hmm. but we're just recording this one now. Um, so when you're watching live, you're trying to recall everything you've ever seen from the show, and you're actually like giving a live commentary, reaction, review, whatever you want to say. It's much more difficult than just being like, oh, I have my pen and paper here. Yeah, and I've, I've watched this so <laughs> like, many times. And I yeah, I've Wanda watched this show like 36 this times. This show is my life. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, I would say the show is a huge part of my life. It is, it, yeah. It is. Same. But, so it kind of hurts when people are like, they don't care about the show because I care about the show more than a lot of things I've ever watched. Yeah. Um, so I was like, yeah. This will, be the, this will be the first and last time that I comment about negative comments in the comment section. Yeah. Mostly because I care about the show. If I yeah. didn't care about the show, I'd just not say anything and laugh. You know? Yeah. But I'll still laugh because y'all down. Yeah. But we're going <laughs> to go ahead and now discuss things uh, that happened in the last episode. At least the big thing that happened in the like post-credit, during-credit, con yeah. concur-credit, like, concurrent-credit, yeah. um, of what I think to be like some weird, not necessarily time travel, but the ability to, the, that the memories go... Regardless of timeline. Right. So it's like mm -hmm. throughout the entire timeline of that Titan. Right. Um, and then, of course, they all connect to the coordinate <clears throat> or the founding Titan. But the fact that previous Aaron, how, how should we say the owl? Yeah, the owl. I okay. would just say the owl. The fact that the owl name dropped Armin and Mikasa still is like, I love you. <laughs> She's just trying to defend us to the The fact that... Um, the owl, though, name drop Mikasa and Armin, makes me think specifically that it's some some connection to the future. But I'm wondering, what are the limitations to that? Because yeah. he didn't even seem to know what he was talking about. Yeah, he was like... He's like, you he, have to do this for Armin and Mikasa. And then he's like, who? He's like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it was like... He said something other than that. But yeah, I'm, but I'm, that's the yeah. gist of it. You get what I'm saying? Like, right. Yeah. So, I don't... I, that that part to me is like trippy as hell. Like, he can know things from the future. Like, how how does that exactly work? You know what I'm saying? I don't know, but it's another so. one of those cool, crazy Titan powers. Oh, you crazy Titans and the things I, you can do. Because I do understand them like knowing things from the past. Like that would make yeah. sense. Yeah, but, the, but going the other way, like the other way is weird. You mm -hmm. know? Well, because you think about it, it passed from Aaron to Grisha to future Aaron, from the owl to Grisha to Aaron. Right. Um, so it's just awkward how that works. But also, that's why uh, the connection between Armin and um, Bertolt when he first like switched over right. and I was like is he remembering him like is he still inside of him like yeah. it made more well, sense well like that me. makes a lot of sense to me and they even mentioned that you know that that like sometimes the memories will bleed over and yeah. stuff but it's like to like be that that much of a bleed over from like them like 
knowing something. And also, I was saying that, well, you know, maybe he virtual. knows, like, Armin and Mikasa's parents. But it would have been but it before they been, were born. But, yeah. So, like, that, you know. Well, okay. So, if this is the finale episode, again, like I said, I didn't know this was a finale episode until we actually sat down to watch it. Which I'm so sad that the next season is, like, the finale. Season yeah, three. I didn't know that the season four was gonna be the last season. This feels like the type of show that could run. I know. You know, two hundred more episodes. Um, but anyway, will Annie make an appearance? I hope she does. Will if we, we go an the last entire, Titan? ooh, in this episode, that's like, what I'm saying. If we go an entire like season without Annie, like that's gonna be intense. Did we? What season did she get locked up? Was it the end of season one? No, it was the end of season two. Yeah. So this would have like been... It wasn't that long ago. Yeah. But I'm saying it's still been a long time with no... Other yeah. than the mention of like them messing with Bertolt, saying that they're going to torture her and stuff. Right. There's really nothing that's come out of that. Um, yeah. And then we know that there is a ninth Titan. Well, technically eighth Titan And we know now. that they only live 13 years. So it's like, when yeah. does... when How much longer does Annie have? <sighs> So, um, but no, there was another thing. Oh, when I was I was wa- when I was watching it back, but we don't watch it back. Oh yeah. Um, they were talking about uh, you know royal blood and you know Aaron not being able to fully control the coordinate and stuff like that because he's not of royal blood. And I was thinking about it. And I was like, well, you know, they were talking about uh, Dina, Dinah, whatever the mom mm-hmm. um, of Zeke being dead and that she was like the heir or whatever. But Zeke has royal blood. Yeah. So if they could theoretically get him to, like, go against the Marlans, yeah. he could properly control the coordinate, but then that would require Aaron to die. Right. Is there a way, and before people say this really dumb, but is there a way to remove one of the two Titan powers from Aaron? That's what I was wondering, like, a couple episodes, like, when we first learned about him having two I was like, is there a way for him to only give one away? Because, I mean, so far all we've seen is that you can you have to eat the shifter. Right. But is there a way to, like, well, now that I'm saying it, like, you know how Reiner, like, split his consciousness? Yeah. Is there a way to, like, I'm just waiting for a comment. Of, You're like, so stupid. Splitting <laughs> his consciousness to where, like, the powers are separated. So yeah. you could, like, eat half of what, <laughs> like, it's, it sounds dumb as I'm saying it, but... I'm just wondering if there is a way to split the like, powers. Like, eat, like, his bottom half, yeah. and then he, like, rejuvenate. Like, take my leg. Rejuvenate. Like, my leg got the coordinate. Yeah. Got the coordination. That's so, that, that's a stretch, for sure, but I definitely, it's know. not like. But I'm just thinking right Zeke now. would be able to make full use yeah. of the coordinate power as someone of royal blood. All right, but that's all I'm going to talk about before we get into this episode. Very excited to see how they finish it off, because if Attack on Titan is good at one thing, uh, it is absolutely blowing your mind at the end of an episode, a season, a story arc, anything. Yeah. Um, so I'm thoroughly expecting to have my mind blown. Yes. I know that's setting a huge <laughs> like yeah. standard going into it, but it's just what I've come to know from Attack on Titan. So I'm looking forward to something just beyond my comprehension and not being able to wait till the next season. Yeah, I can't wait. It's like we got like over a year, right? I have no idea. People posted when the next one's coming out because apparently there was a trailer. I don't know if it was a trailer, but really? some sort of video that people were freaking out about like mm-hmm. back when they announced the season. Yeah. I don't know exactly what I remember was. people saying like it's confirmed for season uh-huh. four and stuff like that. So we'll have to look into that once we're done with this episode. We're, all right, but let's jump into it. See what's going down. Noah. I thought that was so cool he broke the freaking like So was that what it was? It was he touched her? Okay, I knew they were talking about Dina in the royal blood when they mentioned that. Yeah. So, okay. So I'm still thinking Zeke might be the key to be able to do something if they can somehow get him or, you know, that what might I mean? be, be able why, to use him. That might be why. Or well, if he could just eat do him. Do you remember the time that he controlled the Titans? Like, he, like, bossed it around? Uh, Zeke? Yeah. Yeah. So, like. Well, he was just, like, yelling at them. 
like intimidating them. Yeah. See, but they were dumb titans that I didn't get how they understood. Yeah, because he talked to them and, and he like and they listened to him. They that was obeyed something him. that really confused me because yeah. I didn't know that they had comprehension yeah. or the ability to like And I think now knowing that like he didn't have the coordinate power and Aaron does, like how was he how were they like obeying him? You know what I'm know. saying? That is a good question. But his story is from she's not from is she a direct descendant of Ymir like Dina is? Like, because I know she's from the Reese family, but is the Reese family, like, they're not Freets. They're, they're the Reese family. So it's like, whereas Zeke's mom was a Freets, like, she was a direct descendant of Ymir. Mm-hmm. So Historia is royal, but it's a different, like, family, right? Um. He can't use her... As a conduit, right? Because he seems afraid for her, but I would think that she's not of that same she's, bloodline. She's still got royal blood somehow. They're connected somehow. Yeah, but it's different. They may have royal, said that. Like, I think they've said that somehow, how they were connected. I just don't remember. I mean, exactly. her sister was the was the coordinate prior. Yeah. So that makes more sense. Yeah. I didn't even think about it that way. But. <laughs> Keep pausing every five oh, seconds. I'm really going to get that. That's like Imagine what that would be like to just learn this huge truth. It sounds like a tabloid story. It's like fake news. Yeah. It's like aliens have landed. Like that exactly. I feel like a lot of them are gonna die potentially. わりわりを人ではなく、有害な化け物と見なした。みんなを受け継いでどうにもならなかった時も、あいつだけは仲間を鼓舞し続けた。聞いてる。好きで減らしたら笑ってやるから。もえ、なんでそんなことを。そうせ
That's freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. Damn. Flock, is that the dude's name? Is that yeah. what I'm saying? He's a savage, but he does he does have a point, okay? Aaron and Mikasa and Levi did bring emotion into it, yeah. But Armin was not necessarily the clear wrong choice. Like, there was an argument. Um, I could definitely see why Erwin was the one that, in his capacity, he is the only person he could see as being the correct one. Even a lot of people in the military. But, like, we as viewers have seen what Armin can do. The inspiration, uh, the bravery, the courage, the intelligence, like, all of that that he brings. I talked about this season one that I could see him one day becoming, like, a leader of the military. Yeah. And... You know, he he has led to small victories. He's even the one that found out they were in the walls. You know what I mean? That they were hiding in the walls uh, to ambush him. But I do know this flock guy doesn't <clears throat> know all of that. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. He's like a newbie. From his perspective, I understand that. Because he's like, I don't know him. I'm also not friends with him. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah. But it's like, as a viewer, I'm happy that it was Armin. Right. Because of our emotions, you know, attached to him. But also just, like, looking at it objectively is, like, I feel that he has done things that made him worthy of being saved. Right. And that he could be, um, you know, someone who could lead them to victory. Yeah. Like, outside of just how much I like him, he's very intelligent. Mm -hmm. And he has, like, a fire, like, a warrior spirit um, and can spread that inspiration to other people. Yeah, and like I wanted him, I want you know him to see the sea, because yeah. you know, well, not that's that that emotionally, like but super important. Yeah, yeah. it's more like emotion yeah. for me. But like, as far as like, like what he like what Flock is saying, like I totally understand. Like it was a hard decision, and for him, from his perspective, not knowing all the stuff Armin's done is like, it's like a no brainer. It should have been Erwin, but it makes it more difficult to yeah. understand that. I do not like the Flock guy. I do not like that they just spent all that time having the same argument that we've had already. You know what I'm saying? Like, they had that argument for a good ten minutes. Yeah, but... And I'm like, why are you choosing to use the season finale for this? You know what I'm saying? Like, it kind of made me mad. I did like how he said, you know, you need to start telling the truth so that way other cowards like me know is it worth fighting for. Like... That was an intense moment. That was, like, kind of a truth bomb. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that like, was I just, big. Yeah, they could have just condensed this conversation a little bit. I also, like, it showed Levi, like, listening in. If you saw, he was, like, on yeah. a pillar on the other side, mm-hmm. like, just kind of taking it all in without participating. Mm-hmm. Um, there's some there's other things I want to talk about. Oh, Historia. So she's got royal blood. So Dina was a direct descendant of Ymir, okay, but when Ymir died, it was broken into the Nine Titans. So I take it the Reese family was just the king family, like the royal family, the new royal family. I don't know. We're going to have to look into that. But I'm saying I don't know the difference between when... See, I would think if Ymir died and one person, if she had a direct descendant, that person would be the founding titan or the king titan or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, so you think it'd be Freets? instead of Reese that would yeah. have because it'd be the direct bloodline there has to be like some something that happened like brothers or something sp- split it up or something something had to have happened well obviously. like I mean I don't know how it works in here but you would think like I know in olden times a lot of times they would take on the name of the royal name like of the royal family name yeah so you think it'd be Freed still but anyway I don't know that's what I've been thinking about and then I'm like Aaron's, like, so afraid they're going to have him use Historia. So does that mean they would want him to eat her? Or mm-hmm. I don't know in what way that he would use her. Because it said when he was touching her, but he's afraid to use her. Also, I like that Aaron's, like, slowly losing his mind. Like, with these memories. That they just come back yeah. all the time. And they just happen, like, really fast. Like, exactly. he had that one really fast one. Where he saw Faye, you know? Well, yeah. And he had, like, all these little images. And then when he touched Historia, which I was wondering if she, when he touched her, she would, like, be in the same Yeah, I was wondering memory. that, too. And then she's like, Aaron? Like, yeah. which may, it could have been, like, Aaron, like, 
You saw that too, or no. could it be like Aaron? Like, why are you holding on? Why to me you hold my hand? Why are you like looking at like looking at me like that? Why are you a creeper? But like, I don't know. <laughs> ウォールマリアナの巨人は相当されたと発表した。トロストフから商工機が解放され、街道の舗装事業が開始される頃には。そう、ロングタイムゴーズバイ。そして、最初の超大型巨人襲来から6年。I was love the shots yeah. I'm excited to see Armin's form. Maybe that'll be what we leave off on. Maybe. I wish there was a way he could, like, take the stuff out of it and just make him back to a regular person, you know? It does make me feel bad for the Titans now, knowing that they're like the same as everybody else. They're just yeah. in their own personal hell. Yeah. Is that the wall they all get pushed at? Yeah, it is. I was like, cause this is like the desert. And they're about to see the sea. <laughs> I have so many goosebumps right wow. now. I have so many goosebumps. This is like life changing for all of them, you know? Sasha like amazed. <laughs> That's so cute. And it goes back to them. <laughs> It's salty though. Look at him, he's so happy. <laughs> he's so cute. Now what? ウミの向こうには自由がある。海の向こうにいるのは敵だ。何もかも親父の記憶で見たものと同じなんだ。向こうにいる敵。全部殺せば俺たち自由になれるのか。that's crazy though, talking about having to kill all those people. It's different when you're talking about like the Titans you thought were eating you. I mean, this is what we wanted to see. It's a different ending than I thought yeah. I was going to get, but it was beautiful. It's very calm and peaceful. Uh, I kind of like the somber ending, like the silent ending. Yeah. To be continued. Okay. Oh, well, there you go. Well. Not the barn burner ending that I thought, but I'm not disappointed. Like, I, I, I thought I was going to be disappointed if it wasn't, like, some crazy ending. But realistically, this is something we've waited for for so long. It's not like yeah, it's a victory for them. Yeah. It's just life-changing. Yeah. But the <clears throat> perspective of saying, I used to think on the other side of this was freedom... But I was wrong. The other side of this is enemies. Like, for so long, they've been fighting against these, you know, mindless, evil creatures mm -hmm. that have been trying to destroy them and eat them. And, like, they're the thing of nightmares. Yeah. And then you realize that it's this other group of people who has created those titans aren't just these mindless, evil things that want to eat you. Like, that's their own personal hell they're being put into. Yeah. And then you're also trapped in, like, this prison mm -hmm. that's, like, this hellscape of a prison. Yeah. That these other people have put you through. And see, like, I wonder, you know, the, the two that she had, that Hanji had, like, mm -hmm. and she had, like, noticed, Name like, them, so. yeah. Like, it just makes me think back to that, like, the way that they were, like, chained up like that. Like, mm -hmm. man, it's, like, really sad, you know? 
That's why I'm like, it'd be so cool if there was a way that they could reverse yeah. the uh, the injection. I think Grisha would have found that out if he could, you know. Being a doctor and everything. Yeah. I don't know. But it's like, it's real sad. Seeing that one, the, like I said, sometimes they're kind of cute a little bit. Yeah. But seeing that Titan, like, just face in the ground, not able to move, it's just... You feel bad for them. I, I had points in time where I felt bad for them early on because they seemed very innocent and stupid. Yeah. Um, and, you know, watching them get slaughtered, sometimes you'd be like, oh, man, And we like, had that saw sucks. that one uh, in the OVA, like, kind of shed a tear. Yeah. Like, and I was like, man, they, like, have feelings? Like, you know? Exactly. And that just puts it all in, like, a whole different perspective. Well, and it's so easy to get desensitized to it because they're constantly killing the people that we care about. And um, they don't really have an emotional connection to us. Yeah. But it's like, you know, we know Connie's family, like, they did that to them, apparently. Um, And it's like they're... We have a connection to some of the characters that were with Grisha. You know, we see these people that were turned into Titans, like, thrown off the wall. You know, and it's like, it's different now. It's It's in a different... Um, place in my heart, I guess. I care now. Right. I didn't care before. Yeah. Mm. I was I kind of like sure. half expecting when they got to the crest of the mountain there, like to see over the horizon and then there'd be like a warship coming in or something. Yeah, like, I kept people. looking for and something. Like, <sighs> I kept looking for like something coming, you know, because no. it's like... Or like get Hanzo headshot. They have to be like overwhelmed too. It's like they need to get across the sea and they can't even see the other side, you know. Mm-hmm. And they don't really have like equipment in to get direction. across. And yeah, it's like they're completely sailing into it blindly. Where but I think like, Aaron will know. I, I think know. being able to use his memories and stuff, he'll be yeah. able to figure it out. Good, but also like, you know, they're gonna come over at some point with a boat. And so, or the airship, because they have those airships. I don't know. I don't know where it goes from here. It's the show has changed so much now. At least, like perspective-wise, it's changed a lot. It's still a bunch of titans that try to kill people, and now it's someone who's weaponized these titans. Mm -hmm. But it's still. And now it's like there's actually like higher technology in other place in another place. It's really crazy. I don't know. Um, I'm excited to see where they go with it with the final season. I, I'm really sad that it is going to be the final season of the show. Yeah. Um, again, this is one of those shows where I feel like could have gone on for so long because it can just evolve. It, right. it can turn into something else. Um, yeah, it's not always like this weird, mysterious, um, evil force of dumb titans coming for you and then, oh, some of them are, you know, uh, intelligent and, oh, there's another group. Like, it could move on to be more about the Eldians versus the Marlans, and then are there other groups? Are there, you know yeah. what I mean? Like it could go on in my mind. Um, I'm just wondering how they'll wrap this up. The the one big thing that I keep thinking about of how they'll wrap it up is all of the Nine Titans combining. Yeah. Um, I also thought maybe we would see the other Titan that we haven't seen. Yeah. I want, like, season. all nine Titans to be together in one area, even if they're not combined in, like, one. Because I don't think I really want that, because that would mean that, like, Aaron would have to have Armin inside of him. That sounds really dirty. But you know what I mean. Like, he would have to, like, have either that See, or, I don't think or so. vice I think, versa. You know what I'm saying? Well, I was going to say, like, it doesn't necessarily even have to be Aaron. It could be one of the other ones. Well, yeah, but I don't want that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. like, I don't want like it to be like someone that isn't like one of our main people no. to have them all. Um, but I'm just yeah. thinking that could be like the solution. Like they need to bring back the like mega titan, the god titan. And then make another deal with the devil. Well, see, I, I want to go back because like they said it was the devil of all the earth or something is what the Marleyan said. But the Eldians made it sound like a different way. And I forget exactly how they phrased it, but it, like, wasn't evil. Yeah. You know? And they said that she did a lot of good. Like, she's the reason they have advancements yeah. and the reason that society is doing well or that humankind, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, 
this was kind of a slow episode. Like, well, it was because they freaking, and like, I know, like, people are probably going to be so mad at me for saying this. Complaining about it. But, like, honestly, for, like, a finale, like, they could have done so much more with the time. And, like, yeah, like, you know, whatever. Like, they, it is what it is. But they should not have spent that much time on that conversation. It was super that's calming, like That's, like, though. the second or third time that they've used Flock and his rambling... To just waste time. And that's just my personal opinion. He may play a big role in the next season, then. I don't, I don't want him to. So. Um, I just... I don't think I've ever felt this, like, chill and calm after an episode. Yeah, I mean, it's... it's The ending was great. The seeing the sea is fine. I have no complaints on that. I just feel like they could have used more of the beginning to maybe go over some more memory flashbacks or more of the, more of the actual like him touching Historia and seeing memories instead of that conversation. I don't know. That conversation could have been had whenever Erwin first died. Like three episodes, three or four episodes ago or more. More. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it just seems like, all right, let's revisit something that happened a half a season ago. Just to waste time. I would have liked <laughs> to see more of like how the owl recalled the memories of Aaron yeah. in the future. Um, yes. I would have liked to see a little yes. bit more of that. But I feel like there were things that we saw in the little snippets of the memory moments that we need to go back and, and watch again. Because I feel like there was things that we weren't able to pick up on. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's something where I need to go back and like actually check it out and be like, what was this moment? What is? What was this image? Because there were certain things where I'm like, what does this mean? Why is this? Right. You know what I mean? It happens so fast, like those memory flashbacks. Well, like how they showed the picture of them all there with the book at the water, and then they showed it again when they got to the, um, to the ocean. So I'm, they were probably just like, like in their home like area like by that that little lake that yeah. little river so whenever they were reading that yeah, talking yeah. about the sea mm-hmm. yeah um I don't know still still getting into stuff alright but let us know what you thought in the comment section down below like it if you did sub if you don't already shout out to our patrons watching a full and early reaction up on patreon thank you so much for your support you really don't know what it means it means the world we'll be back more videos soon we love you guys bye, bye.